All right, so good afternoon to everybody, <laughs> or rather, I say good day to everybody. So guys, I'm in the beautiful um, country of Barbados. Uh, I'm just trying to get my bearings, right? But we are in the beautiful parish at St. St. George and heading in to St. John. Now today, I'm trying to get to Bath Beach from Golden Ridge in Barbados. Um, I'm still in St. George, but after I pass this sign to my left, there's a sign to my left right here. It says entering the parish of St. John. So I've now entered St. John, and I'm in a place called Lemon Harbor, heading up to Bath Beach. I'm, trying to go, I'm going to try to get there as quickly as possible. I'll show you the beauty of some of the streets of St. John Barbados. So for all you guys who come from St. John and who haven't seen St. John in a while, you'll get to see it today. Um, I'll be taking this road and heading up to Gall Hill and St. John, going through Colleton, um, over to Society, I believe. I think it's Society. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely drop the name in the description at the end of the video. But we are going to Bath Beach in St. John. This time of year, they have a lot of cane fires and stuff like that. And I can see in the background that there's some type of cane fire or something going on in the background. I'm just passing four roads now. I'm now in Pool Land in St. John. So I'm in Pool St. John. Another, another really nice day here in Barbados, 28 degrees. I mean, a really nice temperature. And we've got the scenic countryside looking at. We are in St. John. Oh yes, there is a cane fire that's happening, it's still going on. It's to the right of the screen, as, as you can see the smoke billowing in the background. On the right side, there are cane fields, on the left is a far city area. Really, really nice. And it's a really nice, cool drive. I'm going at 50 kilometers an hour. Oh, yeah. There's the fire to the right. Um, seems to be grass that is burning and not sugar cane. It seems to be grass. Wow, oh, look at that clear sky. Ooh, the country. And the country here is so fresh. Wow. <laughs> It's amazing. You just follow the road. And it seems like in Barbados, you don't have a lot of turns to make off of um, these roads to get to some of these places. Like I'm going to Bath St. John. And there are not a lot of turns, you just follow the road directly where it's going. All the other roads break off into, uh, into small little villages. But the main access road um, takes you directly to them. Which is something really nice because then 
you won't be able to get lost if you're using a map of Barbados, if you're using Google Maps or anything like that, you know, there, um, that, that Google Map is accurate down to the roads, uh, I'm very impressed by it. So we entered Gall Hill, no passing Gall Hill number one. trees in the background standing so tall and majestic but those are in the I think that's the church we are yeah it's a graveyard I wonder what is the name of that graveyard because I know to the left we got St. John's Parish Church but this person could be probably another annex or another part of the graveyard belonging to the St. John Church. I don't know, but if you know, please don't hesitate to put it in the comments. I could have gone down Pot House in St. John, but I'll take the left into Colleton. The sign says Bath Bleach. It says Codgerton College, Cliff College and Sergeant Street. So we turn left here as we pass the new polyclinic that was built in honor of David Thompson. Wow. This really looks good. So go down and go over. I think this is called Colleton St. John. It's the Sergeant Street. Bus that runs through here. Wonderful country living. So peaceful. St. John is. to look back and, and and now I'm going over to Court Hill but I just can't wait to go back and look at the roads and label them um, I use Google Maps to look at the roads and label them because you know I don't know all the roads but I'll do my best to get them but in learning them I will know them from now on and you know I will know where the different landmarks drop and stuff like that so I'm <laughs> The guy who shakes his hand at me. Oh, look at that view. This house that's building will have a fantastic view. Look at it. Oh, I, I hope you can see the footage in the camera of the view when, when I, I, I turned there just now. But, wow. This island has a lot to offer. In, in terms of visual aesthetics, it has a lot of visual.
bath one kilometre. So we were really we really got to bath really quickly. I mean I did not anticipate it would have been so quickly. But never nevertheless. Oh wow, look at that. That was the old um, cable and wireless one of cable and wireless's um, headquarters I believe. They had a huge satellite dish or transmission station, but they, they had a huge one down here. Huge satellite dish. And this is Bath Beach to the right. Just to the right here. And we are actually at Bath Beach. Welcome to Bath Beach, the sign says. It's downhill from here, so Bath Beach is really down behind here. It looks like it was really developed. If you haven't been to Bath Beach for a while, it really looks like it has been developed. The road has, the road has been widened. Because I remember as a kid when you used to come in these areas, it was hard for some of the buses to come over the hill because it was really, really steep. But it seems like the road has the road has been widened also. And you know, its infrastructure has just been built up really nice. Really nice. Barbados or if you are even on the island and want a, a little place to get away for the weekend you can just get one of these beachfront properties and have a fantastic time here. There's a little beach living for a day or two. It's not a bad thing to do. Really not a bad thing to do while on the island. Wow. Over here feels um, different from way different from this city. You get away from the hustle and the bustle and you come to a place that feels kind of secluded um, and, and yet um, what word am I looking for here? It feels secluded secluded and quaint if I should say it like that <laughs> It's just, it's just, and very, very peaceful. I can see some guys sitting down under a, a shed. Some people over there on the bench. They continue on. I'll pass the car park to my left. This is really good park. I, I just go down some, we'll go down further. The beach has some moss on it, so I'll take out some footage of that. But that's our regular moss that comes in. You know, it just comes in and then it goes back out, and then the beach becomes beautiful blue again.
seems like I've come to the end of my journey because I'm not driving over there. <laughs> so nice. Uh, I'm not driving over <laughs> Woo! I'm not driving over there. Well, guys, that's where we come to the end of our video. Look out for more as I take you around the island.